Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NB. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight. The clash at the guard go. position really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. A look at the Magic jump starting jump group. Jump We've got Isaac, you too. Tyler Hero out there with Russell. Then it's Torrey Cray. And it's Carter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And it's the Heat with the ball. A shot by Hayward, wide open, hits the three-point bomb. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Isaac, a screen on Brunson. Russell from long range. Rebound by the Heat. Brunson scanning the floor. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point land, it's hauled in by Hero. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Magic. It's a three-point game. Their last encounter was in Orlando. Yeah, and in winning that last game, they attacked the basket aggressively. Drew a lot of fouls in that game. Two things are a product of that. One, you shoot a ton of freebies. Two, the other team goes deep into its rotation. Neither one of those two things is going to work. Now here's Hayward. Wendell Carter unable to get his last shot to go. Shoots over Hero, and Hayward gets it to go. Hayward's got five now. Well, there's an accuracy and an assertiveness to Gordon Hayward. So good at getting to the mid-range game. And they call an illegal screen, screen here. Take a wing. And not that the way. most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now, here's Simon. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Oklahoma City. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. Here's Craig following the score by Miami. Russell looking around. Shot to stop the run. It's good. Boy, I'll tell you. That is tremendous concentration from D'Angelo Russell. Defense draped all over him, and he still makes it. And the Magic making strides, but Doris, their offense is still lagging behind. Yeah, a couple things come to mind here, Kevin. Obviously, outside shooting and playmaking are two areas where they can grow. Elite perimeter play would probably help take them to the next level, but this is all part of the process when you've got young talent. Isaac picks to Russell, pass to Craig. Hero against Simon. Tries it from the top of the key. Good. He hits the jump shot. And there's no hesitation from Hero. When the shot's there for him, he is looking to let it fly. Runs in the pass to Smith. Vucevic with it. This one for three. The shot. No good. And there's the pass to Hero. Launches it. And it's Miami with the rebound. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Russell against Brunson. And it's sent back by Carter. This is the intimidation factor you are looking for from Wendell Carter Jr. What an imposing presence. Hero from long range. Buries the long-range jumper. Hero's got his second basket of the night. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Simons finds Hayward. To stop the drought. And again, it's the Heat missing. Orlando's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Hero. And there are the Magic with another bucket. Miami trailing. 
And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Orlando. They're eighth in the conference and really looking to improve on the back end of the season. And, of course, Miami. They're five spots away. And right now for the Magic, they haven't had the great season that some were expecting. But it hasn't been a disaster. They just need a few things to go right for them down the stretch. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. Here's Simons after Tyler Hero's bucket. A nice shot by Simons. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Miami. Always interesting, isn't it, Doris, to watch and see how teams settle into themselves and become what they're going to be as the year goes on. You know what, Kevin? After a certain amount of games, teams know who they are and how they win. So does their competition. And so it gets harder and harder to surprise opponents as the season goes on. Outside hero. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's going to go on Gordon Hayward. And this guy is a gamer. Hero embraces any chance he can to draw a foul while taking a shot. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Hayward passes to Smith. Now here's Brunson. Hayward right side. And it's sent back by Isaac. Well, that's six foot eleven. Sending it back, Jonathan Isaac. Woohoo! There's the steal. Hero against Brunson. Pass to Simon. Down low, Vucevic. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, this is about the stellar interior game of Nikola Vucevic. Defender in his grill, no problem. Pass to Craig. Here's Isaac. Back to Craig. Outside, Hero. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Smith. Looking at the last game for Orlando, it was a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Brunson has it in the corner. Kicked by Vucevic. From 18 feet away, Brunson no good. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Oh, and the touch on the interior. Hero can hit jumpers as well as capitalize in close. Vucevic setting the pick for Simon. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. GA, the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the league in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs, where they rediscovered that shooting touch. Robinson's checked in for Jalen Brunson. The Magic also changing it up. Holmgren, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. And Jalen Green subbed in for Tyler Hero. Orlando moving the ball. Pass to Green. Holmgren with a screen on Robinson. Green, no luck. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Simons against Russell. Smith kicks to Hayward. The pass to Robinson. A pass to Simons. An emphatic L.U. jam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the L.U. A deep three from Green. Miami grabs the miss. 
They come into this one following the loss to the Thunder. Yeah, I mean, hard time shooting the rock in that one. But they also didn't give themselves the best looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. Now, here is Russell. 11 points for him in that last game against Minnesota. Green, the pass to Isaac. Craig kicks to Isaac. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Miami's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Smith outside. Passes it to Simon. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for Orlando. And here is Green. No scoring in this one. Craig finds Russell to end the cold streak. Fires the three. Craig can't get it to go. Well, he would have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Hayward passes to Simon. Vucevic is screen on Russell. And Simons, here we go. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And again, it's the Heat missing. And uh, the Magic shooting 43% since taking the floor today. They grabbed their own miss. Simons against Russell. And the wide open shot from Green. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And the Magic lead by three. What you love about D'Angelo Russell, he can impact winning with both his scoring and his passing. Now a timeout called by Miami. And a new group in for the Heat. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Vucevic. Reggie Bullock comes in for Smith. McDaniel's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Anthony Simons. Then for the Magic, Goga Bitadze's checked in for Torrey Craig. Monk comes in for Jonathan Isaac. And it's Tyler Hero in for Russell. And the rejection by Holmgren. Oh, that's a big-time rejection from Chet Holmgren, making his defensive presence felt. Shots good by Hero. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Magic? Uh, how about the ferocity we have seen from them on defense? I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. And, and creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Now, here's Gaffer. 11 points for him in that last game against Oklahoma City. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Green. And it's Green slamming it down. And one of Green's best assets, his leaping ability. He's a natural athlete. Very explosive. Now, Brunson. Real disappointing game for him in that loss to Oklahoma City. Robinson on the wing. Pass to Brunson. Shoots over Hero. And it adds so much to Hero's value when he's out there contesting shots. That's the activity they want to see. And so the first quarter is in the books. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. And so in the game for the Magic, Monk is out there with Daniels. Then it's Chet Holmgren. Then there's Jalen Green. And it's Hero in at the point. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gamper. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves. And that's exactly what Gafford gives you. An understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. The Orlando Magic is rolling out with some long and rangy athletes. They've got some size and the foundations of an identity. One scout recently said, everyone talks about playing positionless basketball, but they're the only ones who have really said, what the heck, let's do it. Kevin? <laughs> They've got a type, don't they, David? Thank you. Daniels with it. He's guarded by Bullock. On its way from Monk for two. And that one's on target from the wing. Monk's got his first basket of the night. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now, here's Bullock. Still yet to score. Brunson against Hero. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by the Magic. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers in that one. If you can't protect the ball, you, you can't expect to win. That's exactly right. Miss Q's drive a coach crazy. You're giving them more opportunities than you're giving yourself, and that's always problematic. Here's Brunson after Tyler Hero's bucket. Gafford with the ball. Now Green defending, and here's Bullock from the arc. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Daniels dishes to Monk. Pass to Hero. Kicks it to Holmgren. No good on the three. The Heat trail by five. McDaniels passes to Brunson. Now Robinson. There's the triple. And again, Miami with the triple. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Orlando making some changes. Torrey Craig comes in for Dyson Daniels. And it's Jonathan Isaac in for Malik Monk. Hero against Brunson. Shot from the top of the key. Shots good by Hero. Hero's got four points now in the quarter. And this is why many are high on Hero. Possesses ability to kick it up a notch and just take over. Holmgren with the steal. Isaac with the ball. Brunson picks him up. Over in the corner, Hero. Back to Isaac. There's the pass to Green. And here is Craig. Six to shoot. Holmgren kicks to Craig. There's Green with the three. Bullock with the rebound. Absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bobbled that shot. Gafford finds McDaniel. Back to Gafford. Passes it to McDaniels. The Heat need to get a shot up. And here's Brunson outside. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. A different look for Miami. Vucevic comes in for Daniel Gafford. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for McDaniels. And a switcher also for Orlando. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Jed Holmgren. Craig passes to Isaac. Over in the corner, Green. Pass to Craig. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Five to shoot. Hero from long range. And no, that does it go. He's made eight, but that's his third miss. Hero against Brunson. Shoots over Hero. And again, it's the Heat missing. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. Outside, Green. Back to Hero. Fires away from way outside. Another miss by Orlando. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. The Heat trail by four. Here's Brunson. Scoreless thus far. Vucevic dishes to Hayward. Can they get it? 
And it's Vucevic missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Isaac outside. To the paint. They kick it out to Green. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Green's got his third basket of the night right there. Boy, what a great find by Carter Jr. Not a ball-stopping big man. You've got to love it. 13 feet away. The wide-open look here for Vucevic. No good on the triple. Magic leading by seven. Pass to Green. Up top, Hero. Green deciding where to go with it. Free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And coaches had these things, Doris. Among them, the ball finds energy. What does that mean? It means, Kevin, that the ball honors basketball players who play the right way. In other words, play hard, try cutting, rebounding, pursuing loose balls. If you're playing with energy, usually the rest takes care of itself. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Smith comes in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Simons in for Robinson. Hayward passes to Brunson. Back to Hayward. The pass to Brunson. Simons on the wing. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Russell kicks to Green. Carter sets the pick for Green. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by the Heat. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for him. Picked him clean. Russell against Brunson. And Russell gets it to go. Well, this is the go-to shot for D'Angelo Russell. The rise and fire off the dribble. And Vucevic kicks to Simons. Runs in the pass to Simons. Lock at six. Let's the three fly. And Brunson the basket on the assist by Simon. What a confident stroke from Jalen Brunson. This guy doesn't have to dominate with the ball in his hands. And Russell gets it to go. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Passes to Brunson. Back to Hayward. Now here's Vucevic, defended by Carter. Hayward against Isaac. Up it goes, and the magic lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Hayward. And so Green will bring it up for Orlando. The 10 foot rebound by Smith. Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Simons from outside. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists tonight. Carter up top from the arc. And again, it's Orlando with the three. This is the skill that Wendell Carter Jr. is much more likely to display right now. That aggressiveness from three. Okay, Wendell. Now here's Brunson. Some thanks for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. We've seen some promising growth from Jalen Smith, haven't we, Doris? He's asserting himself more, and it shows. He is, Kevin, and we're talking about a six foot ten guy, lean frame, has some shooting ability. It's a matter of this guy keeping that aggression and keeping that focus. There's still a long way to go, but you love that he's starting to carve a little niche in this league. Just four to shoot. Here's Russell. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Russell's got eight points. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. 
Hero against Hayward. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Hayward's got four points this quarter. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Pass to Russell. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one, I'm Simon. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic, he's confident, he can score it, and he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. Hayward passes to Simons. Smith sets the pick for Simons. Eight feet away. Smith, no good. Magic leading by five. Here's Hero. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got four assists now tonight. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Three-pointer, Simon. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got six rebounds now in the game. Russell with it. He's got nine. It's stolen by Smith. Hayward goes in. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, don't let Gordon Hayward's polished offensive game deceive you about his athleticism. This guy drives with force to the rim. The Heat making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. Hayward hits them both. Well, Gordon Hayward seems to get better and better every year this guy is in the NBA. And the thing maybe that's my favorite about him, he does whatever is requested to put the team in a position to win. Now, Hero, he had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Yes, that goes in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And here's Hayward. Vucevic a screen on Hero. And so it's the Orlando Magic bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been... All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Welcome to the Timberwolves out in Minnesota. We'll go up against the Trailblazers. That one gets started at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And moving forward, a lot to like about that first half for the Magic. The offense is clicking right now. They're moving it well. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Smith is out there with Vucevic. And it's Hayward. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Simons in at the two go. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. You know, possessions like that will help them feel good going into that final quarter. Magic leading by seven. Al Hero. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Simon. And tenacious play there from Hero in the paint, refusing to let the foul hold back his shot. The Heat shooting 43% for the game. Pass to Vucevic. He dishes it to Hayward. Shoots over Isaac. Hayward can hit. Magic shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. 
zero against Simon. Puts it up from seven, and the shot goes in. Hero's got the lead up to 11 now for the Magic. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Vucevic, and he lays it straight in. Vucevic has got six points. Well, Vucevic has got a number of moves he can go to. He's so comfortable this close to the cup. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Now that we have a moment, let's take a peek at the teams that are leading the league in blocks. Fourth, the Magic. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots. And that continues to be the goal. Hero against Simon. Outside, Russell. Shot clock at six. And it's blocked by Brunson. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Simons with the screen for Brunson. And the pass to Simons. A three-pointer off the mark. Magic leading by nine. Hero finds Isaac. Carter with a screen on Brunson. Russell against Brunson. It throws it down. Oh, boy. The reach, the length, the hops, the athleticism. Jonathan Isaac. Nicely done. To the inside. Vucevic. And that one. Good. He's got eight. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Carter outside. To hero lets it go from deep it's hauled in by the heat smith's got six rebounds here tonight runs in the pass to simon back to brunson a three-pointer no good i'll tell you it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots rushing shots he's really struggling on the offensive end isaac down low Covered by Simon. Sinks the three-pointer. Timeout, timeout. Hero's got nine points here in the second half. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Gordon Hayward. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking. But the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And we'll see if that continues to be the case. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. What he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five. Just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, D.A. Thank you. Vucevic is screen on Russell. Brunson kicks to Vucevic over Carter and too long on the shot. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Magic. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Russell's got 11 points. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. The 19-foot shot, and it's Orlando with the rebound. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. He's looking for Craig and finds him, and it's in there. He's got five. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They get a hand on it. It's up a three. It's good from long range. Craig's got five points in the quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Magic. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. 
And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Russell passes to Craig. Kicks it out to Hero. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. And it's no good. Hayward outside. The dish to Vucevic. Passes it to Brunson. Vucevic gets double team. And the three off target. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Russell against Brunson. Shot clock at five. He doesn't hit that one. Nice D from Russell. Magic leading by 16. Carter sets the pick for Russell. Hey, yo, right here. After Simons. And it's sent back by Isaac. Pass to Hero. to Isaac. Pass to Russell. Isaac with the ball. The pass to Craig. Three on the clock. They need this one. And it's hauled in by the Heat. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Vucevic finds Simon. That shot misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's Hero. And the rejection by Smith. What a nice job by Smith. Gets a piece of the ball without committing the foul. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. A different look for Miami. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Vucevic. Reggie Bullock comes in for Smith. And it's Duncan Robinson in for Jalen Brunson. Then for the Magic. Chad Holmgren comes in for Carter. And Jalen Green subbed in for Tyler Hero. The Magic again can hit. The Heat throw by 13. A three ball. No good on the shot. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Now here's Hayward. He's got 11. This is to Bullock. Throws it up high. Isaac with the steal. Russell left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Misses and the dry spell continues. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Robinson kicks to Simons. Passes it to Hayward. That one rolling around and runs out. Now here's Green. He's guarded by Bullock. At the top of the key, Holmgren. Count that one. And the Magic lead by 15. Make no mistake, Holmgren legit threat from outside, even with a man right in his grill. Hayward against Isaac. Hayward passes to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Holmgren with a screen on Simon. Russell inside, covered by Simons. Orlando moving the ball around. From deep green, rebounded by Gafford. And Simons has got the ball here for Miami. Trailing by 13. Russell against Hayward. He kicks to Bullock. 
three corners off the mark. Well, Orlando shooting around 44% in this third quarter. Russell dishes to Green. Craig sets a screen. Green passes to Craig. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He had a defender all over. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. McDaniels checked in for Miami. Monks checked in for the Magic. Tyler Hero comes in for D'Angelo Russell. From 15 feet away, a nice shot by Simmons. Simmons has got 15. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Craig finds Monk. Bobbed up there for Green. Now here's McDaniel. Guarded close. Pass to Robinson. For three, Bullock. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Bullock's got his second best of the game. The defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's Monk, and the layup's good off the glass. And the Magic lead by 12. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. Outside Robinson, over in the corner, McDaniels. And it's Bullock in the corner. In the heat, another three. Tyler Hero has been leading the charge for Orlando. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along this. It's got to be a sense of urgency right now. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The Heat trail by nine. And so in the game for the Magic, we've got Daniels. Hero out there with Green, and there's Monk, and it's Holmgren in at the five. A nice shot by McDaniel. Magic shooting at 51%. Really so. On the wing, Green. Guarded by Robinson. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Here's Brunson. Looking to end his cold spell, and Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got rebound number five here tonight. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Hero, no good. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Brunson kicks to Bullock. Pass to Robinson. Now, here's McDaniel. Monk defending. A shot by McDaniels. No good. Magic leading by seven. Hero with it. Holmgren with a screen on Brunson. Here's Hero. Rebounded by Gafford. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Brunson kicks to Bullock. Robinson passes to Bullock. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Always going up for the alley oop here. And finished off by McDaniel. I love the effort Brunson puts into creating for others. Working to make sure the defense is manipulated there. Here's Hero. The feed to Daniel. to the rim for two with the D all over him. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Brunson against Hero. Brunson kicks to McDaniels. For the screen on Monk. A shot by McDaniels, no good. Magic leading by seven. And here's Daniels. Now the pass to Hero. Back to Daniels. Here's Green. Bullock with the rebound. Bullock's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. 
Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Gafford passes to McDaniels, and here's Bullock from the arc. Rebound by the Magic. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here is Daniels. He's guarded by Bullock. Daniels kicks to Hero. Holmgren with a screen on Robinson. Hero, no good. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Brunson, no good. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Now, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. I tell you what, Mark's ability there to finish in traffic shows some toughness, even though he was fouled. Gordon Hayward's checked in for McDaniels. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. Free throw drops for Monk. And Monk is an interesting player. A combo guard with fantastic scoring potential. Quick on both ends of the floor. Runs in the pass to Gaff. Shot from 12. And it's off the back rim. No good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And nice shot taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort, not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. So for the Magic, Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Chet Holmgren. Isaac comes in for Malik Monk, and it's Russell in for Jalen Green. Mind the lanes, mind the lanes. One shot. One falls for Brunson. Well, because Jalen Brunson is such a terrific decision maker, you can tell how confident and comfortable this team is when he runs the offense. Carter with a screen on Robinson. There's Hero with the three. Some solid defense from Robinson. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Brunson, no good. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot, and most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Here's Carter. Miami grabs the miss. Gafford's got four rebounds in this game. Now, Brunson. Gafford finds Hayward. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Gafford passes to Hayward. Over Carter. That one's good, and the Magic lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Hayward. Boy, Gordon Hayward has become a late clock shot maker. You cannot disrupt his rhythm. Nice move. Here's Carter. Rebounded by Gafford. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chipping. And Hayward gets it to go. The difference in confidence level from when Gordon Hayward entered the league to now. I get the sense he feels he can go at anyone, anytime he wants. There's Russell. Good. Nice job down low. And the Magic lead by seven. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Bullock kicks to Brunson. Over Russell, and another basket for Miami. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper, just not really closing out as much as they need to. Craig passes to Hero. Hayward against Isaac. Back to Hero. And he uses the glass on the lane. 34 points for Tyler Hero. Well, tremendous understanding from the young Jonathan Isaac. How about that awareness for the young guy? Brunson kicks to Robinson. 
A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got six assists now in the game. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Also, no luck. Here's Miami now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Brunson finds Gafford. In the corner is Robinson. Now here's Brunson. This is it to pull. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Hero. Now, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Russell passes to Hero. Pass to Isaac. Now here's Craig. Here's Carter. Excellent D that time from Robinson. The Heat trail by four. Pass to Brunson. Orlando grabs the miss. Craig's got his sixth rebound on the night. Takes it from ten. Shots good by Hero. Hero's got 13 points in the second half. And when you watch Hero play, it's no surprise he's a gym rat. He can score from any spot on the floor. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Robinson. Haywood against Isaac. Robinson dishes to Haywood. And it's sent back by Carter. They retain possession. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touched by Carter. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. And some changes here for the Heat. Vucevic checked in for Daniel Gafford. Smith comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Simon's in for Duncan Robinson. And it's sent back by Carter. Fast break. Here come the Magic. D that time from Vucevic. The Heat trail by three. Simons with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. Simons, the pass to Hayward. From down low. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Orlando's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Hayward against Hero. Back to Russell. There's the pass to Craig. Russell inside. Brunson covering. Doesn't get it to drop for him. 135 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Has it to Smith. To tie it up. Rebound by the Magic. Isaac outside. He feeds it to Russell. Hero. That's a two-pointer. Good and the assist goes to Russell. Hero's got 38 points. And from the moment he stepped into this league, Tyler Hero has won these big shots. A prime time play. Puts it up from 12. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Heat trail by five. Simons, the pass to Brunson. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Look outside. Let's it go. And it's Russell with the rebound. And that's an intentional foul. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. Took him no time at all on that one. Heroes got 40 points. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the fourth. 
From deep, Brunson. Smith kicks to Brunson. The kick out to Simon. Got it! And now they trail by just four. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become a line of time with the win of the game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. And the Heat call time here. They're down by six. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the final quarter. Brunson against Russell. Brunson the pass to Simon. Good ball movement here by Miami. Hayward can hit. And an intentional foul right there. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Runs in the bounce pass. Simons from outside. And so it's Orlando winning this one. They see it. Thanks so much, David. And that'll do it, folks.